Eight security zones will be created in Kashmir where minorities and migrants in the valley will be transferred to. Uh, these security zones will be created in the valley in Kashmir and this decision has been taken at the high level security review meeting chaired by Home Minister Amit Shah yesterday. Remember, this comes amid fear and growing security concerns amid the Kashmiri Pandit community as well as the uh, minorities and the migrants there amid a spree of targeted killings. Let's go across to Pradeep joining us for more on this. Pradeep, a big decision by the government to create these safe zones. Who all will be shifted there? See, yesterday there was a very crucial meeting that was chaired by Home Minister Ahmed Shah. During that meeting, certain decisions were taken. The one important decision was taken that they will not be relocating or transferring Kashmiri Hindu employees from Valley to Jammu. That's what they had been demanding because they feel that will be a setback for the government, uh, the rehabilitation and return policy. And that's going to encourage uh, anti-national elements and terrorist elements in Valley because that's what their intent is all about. That's why they're going for the targeted killing. So what they have decided that government has decided to go for eight uh, uh, safety and secure zones in Kashmir Valley and where these employees will be relocated and transferred. And to begin with, they have already uh, posted 177 teachers in Srinagar uh, from vulnerable areas to the safer places uh, so that they do not face any kind of problem. And the second thing is that they are also going to improve the intelligence network and they will be going after uh, hybrid terrorists because hybrid terrorism is right now the biggest ever challenge for security agencies. Reason being that they do not have any track record, unlike uh, other terrorist overgrown workers who are operating there in Valley. Terror security agencies normally know that who they are, where from they are operating. But so far as these hybrid terrorists are concerned, they, they, there is no track record. That's why it becomes very difficult for them to lay their hands on these people. And most of the time, we have seen that they succeed in their nefarious design and activity of targeting innocent unarmed people. That's what they have been doing. That's why the terrorists have changed their strategy. So there is a need for changing strategy so far as security agencies agencies and counter-terror operation are concerned. And that was discussed threadbare during the meeting. So the main focus is that they will not allow employees to move out of Kashmir Valley because they know once these employees are uprooted, it will be very difficult for the government to get back Kashmiri Hindus and have their footprints. Because reason is that very well government understand what is the intent of Pakistan and Pak proxy. They want to generate fear among people. Once again, they want to create a situation what existed in the early 90s. And they want exodus of these Kashmiri Hindus and they do not want to see the footprints of Hindus and Hindustanis in Kashmir Valley. That's why they're carrying out these targeted killings. So what government has decided, they're trying to provide enough security. They, have, they are going to create eight secure zones in Kashmir Valley where these employees will be transferred and posted. And most of these uh, secure zones will be in the district headquarters. So they are trying to provide them safer accommodation. They're also trying to uh, in fact, uh, ensure that uh, they're shattered confidence uh, confidence is once again rebuilt so all th the focus will be on the security of employees so that terrorists do not succeed in their sinister plot we have seen that during the last few months they had been targeting these innocent unarmed civilians and in fact uh, after the killing of Rahul but we have seen how the Kashmiri Hindu employees they had been coming out they had been protesting uh, they had been saying unanimously there is one demand and that demand is about relocation of employees to Jammu region but yesterday after the meeting now it is clear that government has made up its mind that they will not allow them to move toward Jammu region. So they will try to ensure that proper and the best security measures are taken. They're kept in the secure zone. And eight secure zones had been so far allocated in different districts here in Kashmir Valley, where they will be provided safer accommodation so that terrorists are not able to succeed in their nefarious and sinister plot because they are getting instruction from across the border. These terrorists know that they can't match might of Indian forces. So the best option is to go for these soft targets. And by going for these soft targets, they are one able to achieve their aim of uh, generating fear. Second, they want uh, 
uh, to wipe out the footprints of the Hindus from Kashmir Valley. And third, they want to continue with their exclusivist agenda of Nizam and Mustafa. That means only one faith to live there. And that is what actually the Caliphate Brigade really wants to give a setback to them. The government has decided that yes, we'll provide security, we'll ensure security for employees, but we will not uh, allow employees to move out to Jammu because once they're uprooted, it will take a long time to get them back because already they have learned the lessons in the past what really happened in early 90s because that time also everybody thought that maybe for time being they will be taking them to Jammu region after that once again they will be brought back but uh, it took 32 years to get back Kashmiri Hindus to Valley so now they want to rebuild and uh, and resurrect their dwindling confidence so that employees uh, once again go back to work and there's no problem being faced by them. All right, uh, Pradeep, stay with us. Another breaking news coming in from Jammu and Kashmir. The government has issued advisory for Jammu and Kashmir. The, the advisory for the Kashmir region says that the hybrid terrorists can pick soft targets using IEDs and grenade explosion. And for Jammu, the advisory says that drones can be used, terrorists can infiltrate to carry out the suicide bomb attacks. Uh, let's go across uh, to Pradeep who's uh, with us. Uh, Pradeep, give us the details of these advisories. See, there are intelligence inputs that terrorists will try to uh, carry out attacks during uh, Amanath pilgrimage or before Amanath pilgrimages to start because they want to sabotage peace in the region. One thing that Pakistan cannot see, that's the smile on the faces of people of Jammu and Kashmir. Second, they cannot see normalcy. Third, they cannot see development pace, of the, uh, the pace with which the development is taking place in this region. So that's one of the reasons that what they have decided is that they've got the intelligence inputs are there that they will try to use sticky bombs. Sticky bombs are magnetic improvised explosive device that can be easily uh, uh, fitted with any of the vehicles. They will try to target security force vehicle with that. And then they will try to lob grenades or they will try to go for the soft target what they have been doing for the last few weeks, what we have seen. Because reason is that they can't match might of forces. They can't, They want to avoid direct confrontation with security forces because we have seen whenever there has been an encounter Counter. Most of the time we have seen those terror commanders getting wiped out. See, yesterday there was an encounter in Anantnak area. The top commander of Hezbollah Mujahideen, Nisar Khande, has been eliminated. So they know that, uh, that this is the only way that they can continue with their activity without losing their men and material. So they want to go for the grenade explosion, IEDs, and that's what they are looking at. So far as the Jammu region is concerned, there are intelligence inputs that they will try to infiltrate terrorists either using subterranean means, that means through tunnels, or, or they will be using the drones to drop arms and ammunition and explosive material along with the sticky bombs and already just few days back here on Mirana we covered that how uh, the drones were used to drop sticky bomb and UBGL rounds, the same UBGL rounds which were used to target intelligence headquarters in Chandigarh. So international border right from Jammu uh, to Punjab remains vulnerable and this stretch is used uh, uh, to drop arms and ammunition with the help of these unmanned aerial vehicle. And third thing is that uh, they think that uh, the sticky bombs can even be used in Jammu Origin. So security agencies have been, uh, have been told that they have to remain alert 24 7 365 days in such a situation because they have not to take any kind of a chance. In the meantime, also they're trying to generate awareness among the people also, that they have also to be alert, especially the people putting up along the border or in hinterland, because there is every possibility that if they see any kind of unmanned aerial vehicle or they hear any kind of a beep, they should immediately inform police or security agencies so that action can be initiated. We saw that uh, the few days back it was because of uh, the information provided by villagers that police was able to shoot down a drone in uh, Katwa district and finally they were able to foil Pakistan's sinister plot of smuggling uh, explosive material into this region because idea was they wanted to carry out attack use sticky bomb and sticky bomb is one of the most dangerous and lethal weapon that is right now available with the terrorists this weapon was used in 2005 by Taliban against American forces and since then we have seen that they had been using it but now they are trying to smuggle similar uh, improvised explosive devices here in this region too because this becomes very easy for them to use carry out explosion make bigger bad headlines have a larger impact inflict maximum casualty but so far they haven't succeeded reason being our forces are alert they are continue to dominate so far as counter infiltration and counter terror operation are concerned that's one of the reasons that in first
frustration what they are doing. They are going for South to target. They are targeting Kashmiri Hindus, non-Kashmiri. Uh, we have seen that yesterday also there was a grenade explosion in Zanpura area in Shopia in which two of those laborers were injured because they know they are the one who are involved in the development and scripting a new chapter of Naya Jammu and Kashmir. And they do not, but they want to create stumbling block. And that's why these laborers are being targeted. And they also want to generate fear among them because they know two lakh of those laborers from different parts of India right now are working there, skilled laborers, unskilled laborers, and uh, they are the ones yes. who are uh, laying foundation stone of Naya Jammu and Kashmir, who are involved in different development projects in that region. All right, Pradeep, thanks very much for joining us with those details. So a number of steps being taken and advisory being issued for Jammu and Kashmir. Uh,